Hello guys, my name is Balkrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we solve a problem to validate a date given month, day and year. So we complete this function that takes three values mmdd and yyyy and checks if this forms a valid date or not. Okay. So before we begin, it is a request that if you find this video helpful, if you like this video, please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one is subscribed and your subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So I have to complete this method. Okay. And I have taken certain dates. Okay. On which I'm going to test this method. Okay. And these dates are in MM, DD and YYYY format. Okay. Not DDM. Okay. So I've written a class to help me with this date. So MM, DD, YY and a two string function that returns the date in this format. Okay. All right. So whenever we are solving date related questions, the first thing that I always do is to write a function to check if a year is a leap year or not. So I'm going to say static Boolean is leap year. Okay. That is to check if this year is a leap year or not. So the standard check for the leap year is if this year is divisible by 400. Okay. Then it is a leap year. So we return true. If this year is not divisible by 400, but is divisible by 100, we return false. So this consists of years 1700, 1800, 1900. Okay. All right. Examples are these. Then if the year is divisible by four, we return true again. Okay. Finally return false. All right. So you may think that why are we adding this check? Okay. Because every fourth year is supposed to be a leap year. Okay. But these are not considered leap years, even though they are divisible by four. So there is a very technical explanation for this. And I'll add the explanation for this in the description as well, because it took me a long time to find the actual reason why we do this. Okay. All right. So this method takes a year and returns true if this is a leap year returns false. If this year is not a leap year. Okay. This is the first thing. The second method that I write when I'm solving date related questions is that a function that gives me the number of days given a number of month. Okay. Function to find the number of days for the given month number. Okay. For January, it should return me 31 for Feb. It should return me 28 for a non leap year, 29 for a leap year for March 31 and so on. So I'll say static int get num days in month. Okay. And it, it will take a month. Okay. And also assuming MM is a valid month, the range one to 12. Okay. So I'll take an array. Okay. And the zeroth index will store zero and index I will give me the number of days in month I. So 31 for January in month number one, 28 for February for month number two, index two. 31 for March for a month, month number three, index three, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. All right. And finally I return, return days of MM. Okay. So zero is redundant because we don't have month number zero for one, we return 31 for month two. We need to check if this is a leap year or not. Okay. So this takes int year also because I need to return 29 for a leap year. Okay. So if is leap year, we'll use the function that we just wrote. Okay. I increment the number of days in two by one at index two by one. Okay. So if y, 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 y is a leap year, this value becomes 29. And finally I return the number of days in this month. Okay. Okay. So days I is the number of days in month number I. Okay. And for all the other months for January, March, April, May, June, July, August till November, December, the number of days in the month remain the same regardless of the year. It is only for the February that you need to make this leap year check. Okay. That's why taking an array hard coded like this is really helpful because you don't have to add too many lines. Otherwise you will have to write an if else if letter, right? That would be a lot more lines of code. Okay. Now that we have written our helper methods. Okay. We come to this function to validate this date. Okay. Validate the year. Okay. So the valid year range in our given question is 1900 to 9999. Okay. So if 
वाई 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 इज लेस देन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड और वाई 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 इज ग्रेटर देन नाइन 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 ओके इफ इट इज नॉट इन द रेंज आई रिटर्न फॉल्स नॉट अ वैलिड डेट ओके वैलिडेट द मंथ ओके मंथ नंबर हैज टू बी बिटवीन वन टू ट्वेल्व ओके सो वी डू द सेम थिंग इंस्टेड वी डू एम एम इज लेस देन वन और एम एम इज ग्रेटर देन ट्वेल्व वी रिटर्न फॉल्स देन वी गेट द नंबर ऑफ डेज इन द गिवेन मंथ फॉर द गिवेन ईयर इन नम डेज इज गेट नम डेज इन मंथ फॉर दिस मंथ इन दिस ईयर ओके और राइट एंड दिस डी डी हैज टू बी बिटवीन वन एंड दिस नंबर ऑफ डेज सो इफ डी डी इज लेस देन वन और डी डी इज ग्रेटर देन नम डेज ओके और राइट यू कैन सी नम डेज इन मंथ इफ डी डी इज लेस देन वन दैट इज इफ द डे वैल्यू इज लेस देन वन और ग्रेटर देन द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ डेज इन दिस मंथ फॉर दिस गिवेन ईयर वी रिटर्न फॉल्स ओके Finally, we return return true because our year is valid, our month is valid, the number of days in the month are valid, and so we return true. Okay, all right. So let me run this. Okay. So these are the sample cases. So the first value is the month. Okay. The second value is the day, and the third is the year. Okay. All right. So let me run this. Java C. Java. Okay. So we look at the valid dates. So two ten twenty twenty. So tenth Feb. Okay, this is thirtieth Feb. No, twenty ninth Feb. Yes, because this is a leap year. Okay, fiftieth Feb. No, tenth Jan. Yes, thirty first Jan. Yes, thirty first April. No, okay, thirty first May. Yes, okay. So this is minus two. Okay, no. Okay, thirty first June. No, thirtieth June. Yes, thirtieth November. Yes, twelfth November. Yes, twelfth March. Yes. Thirty first December yes, thirty second December no. All right, okay. So this was the solution to this problem where we take three values M M D D Y Y Y Y, and we check if this forms a valid date or not. Okay. So please let me know in the comments if there was anything that was not clear to you in this video, or if there is something that you absolutely disliked in the video because if I get a dislike and I don't get the reason why you disliked it, I cannot improve upon it. So if there is something that you did not like about this video, you can also mention that in the comments. All right. and you can also mention in the comments if there is a question you want me to solve or if there is a concept you want me to discuss thank you